Well, good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Clay Gordon. Our top story tonight, Portland City Council is holding an emergency remote workshop tonight to discuss the city's effort to control the spread of COVID-19 and its homeless population after a woman from Massachusetts and a man from San Francisco tested positive. The female was not terribly cooperative, and unfortunately, as of now, the male has been cooperative with city staff. Portland police detectives tracked her down to the Boston area where she was brought to a hospital by authorities. The two cases potentially exposed 67 individuals at the Oxford Street homeless shelter. Of them, only 38 spent the night at the Portland Expo, now being used as a quarantine center. City manager John Jennings told counselors the city has no power to hold these individuals there and they could technically come and go as they please. He also says the Oxford Street Shelter will not be taking in new homeless individuals to help protect 608 people that have been in touch with the city for the last 90 days. The family shelter will now only house people who test positive for coronavirus and the healthy families staying there have been relocated to area motels. Then there's this. The city's Bayside neighborhood was described in the meeting by Councilor Kim Cook of District 5 to be, quote, a bastion of lawlessness that had just taken over. That's after she received emails and photos from constituents. It's not safe from a public health standpoint on the epidemic, and it's and it's just not acceptable uh, for the people who who live there or for anyone um, to have to endure and be under threat, really, uh, from the situation. Cook then urged Jennings to seek help from the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office or the governor for state resources to secure the area, and Jennings agreed. You are absolutely right. We have got to restore order. There is a sense of lawlessness in a sense that I can do anything I want to, any place I want to do it. If it's your backyard, I don't really care. I can do it there. Now, according to Jennings, he's been working with Portland police and federal agencies about this area of the city, but action needs to be done fairly and effectively to reclaim that part of Bayside. We have more from tonight's emergency shelter remote meeting available on our website, newcentermain.com.